I'm going to show some of the features of Observe its new Linux Unix capabilities. So to start off, I'm going to log on and have a, a open a Unix session, just like any normal user. So here I am logging in via Putty. And in this uh, Unix session, I'll run a couple operations. That'll do an ls. Notice there's a directory called tester. Move into that directory. We see that it's got a couple files, test file 1 and test file 2. And now I'm going to be a bad boy. I'm going to remove those the, the entire directory and those files. The reason I'm doing this is that uh, it's going to allow us to see later on and observe it exactly how we're able to track all of these actions that I've done in very granular detail. We'll see that in just another couple seconds. Okay, and so there's my ls. We see that directory definitely is gone. So, now let's jump over into the world of Observe It and see how an Observe It administrator can now track that information of what the diabolical user has done on that Unix session, in that Unix session. So here we are in the standard Unix uh, Observe It environment and just like in the typical uh, observe it environment we see here the server diary showing all of the sessions for any particular server right now we're looking at uh, all the sessions for QA demo one server for sorted by date and by time we can see all the different users who have logged into sessions and the button over on the right allows us to replay any session so I'm going to click on that and that's going to open up the replay screen And here we are on that replay screen. Now, as an Observe It administrator, I'm able to see, to replay the entire session of what took place in that putty, uh, in that putty window. I can move within that session, no matter how long this, the, the Unix session was, I can navigate within and I can replay it line by line even. And so visually, on the left-hand side of the screen, I'm seeing all of what happened. On the right-hand side of the screen, I'm seeing the actual uh, user commands that were entered by the user. So then I can click on the ls and go directly to the first time that the user typed ls. So this gives two of the ma three main things that Observe It gives you in the Unix environment. One is the visual what the user saw. That's on the left-hand side. And the right-hand side is what the user actually typed. But there's a third thing that I want to show you as well, and that's what system commands happen underneath the hood during that Unix session. So Observe It gives you not only the visual and not only the user commands, but also the actual system call. So I'm going to drill down in that user session, and I see all of the actual commands that were run and for the one particular command the rm command I can see the actual system calls I can see that it ran an unlink on test file 1 unlink on test file 2 and then rimdir on the actual directory so I have a very granular view of everything that happened even though the user just typed rm uh, minus r tester and we saw what the visual results were here we get much more detailed information including very detailed environment information and all of the various uh, environment uh, path information for that particular command. So here we are back in the replay mode and I want to just point out that we can use Observe It for any historical session but also we can use Observe It for live sessions that are going on right now and here here my, my putty window is still open and I'm gonna on the right hand side I'm gonna actually continue in that session and you'll see that the replay happens almost simultaneously so I can really monitor not only historical sessions but live on the fly sessions. <coughs> so that's a little bit about the replay capabilities of Unix within the Observed environment. Uh, you'll see that each session in the server diary or in the user diary is indicated with the little lin Linux uh, indicator as opposed to the Windows indicator so that you can tell visually immediately each session whether it was a Windows session or a Linux session. Mm. 
Besides the replay capabilities, there's also additional reporting and configuration capabilities that are new in the new latest version of the Unix version of Observit. Let's take a quick look at some of those changes. First of all, within the definition of the servers, uh, we have the ability to granularly define uh, groups and policy rules per server. You can immediately see each server is, whether it's a Linux machine, a Unix machine, or a Windows machine. And also group policy rules. You can define rules for all servers. You can define rules for only Unix servers, for only Windows servers, etc. And over in reporting, I'm going to click on the reports tab, we'll see that reporting also has a certain amount of customization that's Unix uh, specific where necessary. Specifically, there's some, ac uh, some information that's only relevant to the Windows environment, some that's only relevant to the Unix environment. Uh, for example, commands is only relevant to Unix, the uh, underlying commands that were the system calls. Applications, on the other hand, is only relevant to Windows uh, servers, the Windows applications that were run. So you have the ability to define uh, reports for only the Windows sessions or for only the Unix sessions or for both together, should you wish.